Angie at Stampin' with Amora and Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator and today is Technique Tuesday so I am going to share a Technique card with you. I love this card. Um, it's super pretty and this I believe is called Reversed Masking. Um, so that's how I'm going to share how to do this little Christmas bulb here. But it is super pretty when it's done. And I don't know if you can catch any of the little glimmer on here. I used some dazzling diamonds, but I did it super lightly. And I'll show you how I did that. I just wanted a little bit of shimmer to, to the background. So I'll share that also. All right, so let's get started with this. You are going to need the sheet music background stamp. And then for the sentiment, you are going to need the, the Dashing Deer, and I'm using this. You can use whatever sentiments you have. I just love the, the um, writing of this. It's a little bit fancier, and I thought it was perfect for this card. And then you're going to need two pieces. You're going to need a piece of printer paper and a piece of cardstock. And I just used some scrap um, printer paper that I had and these pieces are cut together and I cut them at three and three quarters by five and the reason we want them the same is because we need both to do the masking so what we're going to do with this is we are going to run it through with the circle layering circle framelits and I am using this these right here all of these and I am using this one which is the second largest of the plain circles you can use whatever size you want your bulb to be and so we're using that and then for your card the part that you are going to stamp on it is going to be um, five and a quarter by four and then you're going to need a piece. If you want it to open this way, it needs to be four and a quarter by 11. And then you're going to score it in half at five and a half. Because I like the it to open this way for this card. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do here, I am at, actually going to show you a different color. I'm doing the Call Me Clover because I want to show you you can do any color for the bulbs. All right, you need some dazzling diamonds too if you want to have a little bit of a shimmer to it. I just think it adds a lot to it. All right, I'm going to bring the big shot up here and we're going to cut these pieces and we're going to cut them together because we want them to be exactly the same. So you need your magnetic platform. Now we're going to set that down there. Sorry for all the noise. My neighbor just started, I don't know what they're doing, but it's a crazy noise out there and my dog's going crazy. So I'm really sorry. So we are going to put that there. And we're cutting these, like I said, both at the same time. And try to center that because you're going to center it onto your card base that you're going to stamp. So that's all you're doing with that. So we're not using the outside part. We are just using these pieces right here. Okay. All right. So next, I'm going to grab the piece that we are going to be um, stamping on and doing all our little decorating on. And you're going to set this where you want your bulb. Now I put it down towards the center and then try to center it the best you can. You're going to need some um, little sticky notes and what you're going to do, I'm going to make sure I have this in the center the way I want it. What you're going to do is this is going to hold, not only hold your piece down, but it's going to help you when you're sponging the center. So just put that all the way down around your piece. This is a wild color, but it's a, some that I had that I had already opened. So just use whatever you have. And this one is the cardstock piece, not the printer paper. 
All right, so we have it all ready. What I'm using for this are our sponge brayers. So they they look just like this. I'm going to switch it to my green one that I have, or actually I'm going to use a fresh one. So you just pull them apart like that. You could buy the other sponges, as many as you want. I have like four or five of them, and you can buy extra. So I'm going to grab the Call Me Clover, and you want to do this gradually. Now this is the real red that I had. It was an older ink pad, so it wasn't as juicy as this one. So I'm going to try to be more careful with this one. But you just want to start going over. And you want to do it lightly because you don't want a whole lot of streaking. So just keep going all different ways with your brayer. And we're just going to keep layering the color till we get it what we how we want it. And I will re-ink this in a in a minute, but I want to just make sure I'm getting some even coating before I do. And then you're just going to keep on going over it. The Call Me Clover is a really, really pretty green, and I didn't figure that out until later in the Christmas season that I really like it for a Christmas color. It's a really nice green. And then just keep running it over your ink pad and keep going over it. And I'm trying to do this in a slowly because I don't want a lot of um, marks. I want it to be really um, without a lot of lines and stuff. So I'm doing a little bit at a time. And you don't really have to press on this brayer hard. In fact, it's probably better that you do it light. And I think I want it darker, so I'm just going to I'm just going to keep on going until I get it exactly how I want it. You can use your shaded spruce. That would be pretty too because it's that deep green. This might take a little time, um, but the rest of it's super easy and it's fun. Actually, this is pretty relaxing to me. <laughs> I think that's probably good enough. We're going to leave it like that. I'll just get the excess off of my little roller here. All right, we're going to just do it like that. I don't want to bore you too long. But it is really kind of a fun process. All right, so we're going to peel this off. And there you have your little bulb. Now, the next step we're going to do is we are going to take the other piece and this is the printer paper piece and we're going to lay this on here exactly over the same spot we're going to take our you can use the little ones too I just think this holds it on here better you're going to put them on here and you can do it to uh, one of two ways I'll show you here in a second And you want the printer paper because the printer paper is thinner and it makes it much easier to try to stamp over it. If you use the cardstock, it's not gonna it's not gonna stamp as well. So I'm actually gonna lift this off of here. And I kind of fold these over because I don't need all that in the way. So we're just gonna do it like that. I'm gonna set it aside here for a minute. I'm going to bring my sheet music in here and I'm going to ink it up with some Memento Black. And I don't really need to ink the whole thing up. I'm just going to ink like half of it. Or maybe a little bit more than half. Get it inked up really well. And the easiest way I found to do this is just to flip it over and then lay it down and then rub it. Make sure you don't move it, just rub where you have it there. And then we're going to lift that off. 
I'll scoot this out of the way. I'm going to remove our little paper here. And there you have your little ornament. Isn't that cute? I think they're so adorable. So I'm going to use the uh, Call Me Clover ribbon. You need about three and a half inches. So I'm going to cut three and a half inches here. And this, I'm going to use my Tombow wet glue. And I'm going to actually just put little dots all along the ribbon here. And we're going to put this in the center of your bulb. And then just wrap it around the back side. You may have to wait a few minutes because you know the Tombow, it does take a little bit of time to dry. Even if you want to put some snail on this side, you can put it and then just attach it there. Now we're going to make a bow with the same ribbon. So I'm just going to do it by hand here. Just make a small bow. These are so cute. And then we'll just cut, make some little tails. This is the 1 8 inch ribbon. I'm going to use a glue dot. And we're going to attach our bow right there. And now this is where it comes the um, little dazzling diamonds comes in. I just took one of these little school glue Elmers and what I did was I just kind of, and this is purple, you can kind of see, I just kind of dabbed it on here. You can even do it a little bit on your Christmas bulb. I'm going to grab some Dazzling Diamonds, and it disappears the color on here. And I'm just going to add a little bit to it. I just wanted it to be sparkly on kind of the background. And it just sticks to that that glue. So can you see how it kind of, I don't know if you can see it in here, but it is really pretty. There, maybe there's a little glimpse of it, but it's really, really pretty on the background. It just adds a little bit of something it needed. And then we're going to take our, this is three quarters by two and a half, and we're going to stamp our sentiment on that. Normally, I just like to stamp and then um, cut it, but this time we're doing it. So hopefully I'm going to get it straight. And this one's kind of an easier one to um, line up. I'm going to also kind of banner the end here. Well, I am going to banner it, not kind of. I'm going to again add some multi-purpose only because it's sitting here you can use whatever you have some snail we're going to set that on here and then we're going to attach this to our card base so I guess I'll use the snail I like to use the fast views but the snail works okay for this card. So we'll get our card base here. And we're going to center that on here. Okay, and then we are going to use again, I am having a ball with these. These are a new epoxy, frosted and clear epoxy, 
epoxy droplets. Some of them are frosted and some are clear. We're going to go ahead and use the clear ones. I'm going to use one of the large ones. I'm going to put it over here. And then we're going to use two of the smaller ones. And then we're going to put two other ones on the opposite side here. Just to finish it off. All right, so there you have it. Is that not a fun technique? I really like this. It's super cute. And adding that little bit of dazzling diamonds to the background, believe it or not, adds so much to this card. I just wish that you could see it better. All right, everyone, if you need any supplies, you can go to my blog. It's stampingwithamorei.com and shop for my blog. This is my hostess code for December. And um, I guess that's it. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll catch you next week. I'll see you later. Bye.